Well, it's happening over and over and over again. Teenagers lured on social media to send explicit photos to people who aren't who they say they are. But there are things that parents can do right now to protect their kids. To in your sides, Jackie Roberts shows us how new at 11. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Kids and teenagers are on social media now more than ever before. In 2012, only 34% of teens use social media multiple times a day. Today, that number is 70%. And experts say that makes them more of a target for predators. Well, we call um, a phone a phone. It's not a phone. It's a small computer. So you have to think about the fact of what your kid has access to so, and, and who has access to them. The Crimes Against Children Research Center says one in five U.S. teenagers who regularly log on to the Internet say they've received an unwanted sexual solicitation through the web. Common Sense Media's editor-in-chief Jill Murphy tells us simply talking to your kids about online predators can leave a lasting impact. Helping them understand why they have boundaries, what our expectations are, what are your own family values what you do and do not allow for them based on their age or grade or who their friends are. Those are important conversations to have. We have to be comfortable and ready to have them. Another line of defense could be changing the privacy settings within individual apps and devices. But remember, those settings are easy to change back. I don't want my kids on social media to be friends with anyone who I can't pick up the phone and call their parent and say, this is what's happening. I want to know where they live or at least the general area. I'd like it at the very least to know their last name. Social media does have its advantages and many kids could be benefiting from the time they spend connecting with others on the internet. Experts say the key is knowing boundaries and being aware of the risks. It's rare. It's not the norm. It happens enough for parents to pay attention and make sure that they have that open dialogue. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.